Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here and welcome to the end of the season. Another Manchester United uh, season in Football Manager 2015 has uh, been done with. We've finished the league season. We've got an FA Cup final to play against Liverpool today. And just rounding off the season here, uh, we set the record for Premier League goals beating Aston Villa, 128. We scored 131, so that must have been a real life record because they wouldn't have done it in this save. So, yes, that's amazing. So, I've got to forget about, like, I've already forgotten about the previous game against Real Madrid. Had a little, like, nap. <laughs> and I've just forgotten about it now. I'm moving on, because we can win this FA Cup against Liverpool, and it will be an amazing domestic season. To be, like, like English fans will be really happy we dominated England this season, but we'll have to win the FA Cup for that. And I'll be happy. And I've almost, like, forgotten about Champions League now. I'm like, yeah... We lost. We lost. It's disappointing, but we just have to move on. That happens in football. Um, we've got all these awards. The Depay winning all these, like, got the highest average ratings. Um, uh, the Riders Football um, football Riders Football of the Year Award. Again, we got the most goals. Unbeaten season as well. Uh, wherever it says that. <laughs> everywhere. Where is it? Does it say we have an unbeaten season? Uh, we've got set average. I might have to search for it because sometimes there's just so much messages you can't see. Unbeaten. There we go. Manchester United finished the season unbeaten because there's so many messages going on right now. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we won an incredible 34 out of 38 games. And we'll certainly look back to like, some performance. 4-2 win against Chelsea. 3-1 against Liverpool, 3-2 against Man City, and a whopping 4-0 against Arsenal, who I remember, I personally remember in the first season we lost against them 5-0, so we've completely turned that around. There's been some interesting moments between us and Arsenal throughout the season, so others have just more awards, really. None, yeah, uh, Goethe, uh, the young player of the year, he's actually 24, 24 must be the maximum age. Anything else that our players won, of course, uh, yeah, myself, Footy Manager TV wins, Barclays Manager of the Season. See, this kind of stuff makes me a bit happier to finish the season on a high. I've got players, we've got Phil Jones, Goethe, and Memphis Depay, of course, will be in the Barclays team of the season. And Depay, oh, Memphis, I love you. <laughs> that makes me feel so much more better. Okay, can we get rid of that? There we go. He's dedicated to me. Oh, man. He, uh, getting emotional, yeah. <laughs> the pie. Uh, I was the key reason. I love you, Memphis, <laughs> as well. Oh, man. He's he's an amazing player. Unfortunately, he didn't step up in the latter stages of the season, not just Real Madrid. So, uh, look at all these games he didn't even score. Last game against Fulham, though, he was really good. He just general game. He didn't score, but amazing. Like 8.2 rating. You have to play well to get that. He got shots on target. He got everything. Uh, won aerial battles. He's had a good season. I reckon, I reckon he could push for, like, uh, the best player in the world. I reckon he can. Like, I've been talking about how good Ronaldo is and... Like, we need someone to be like that. Of course, we're not going to get someone amazing. Like, no one in Football Manager ever good, gets as good as Ronaldo or Messi. Like, no one gets to that level of ratings. But Depay, he's probably yeah, very close to reaching his potential right now. But he can go close to that in the right formation and everything like that. And talking about right formation, like, I've been thinking in my head, should we change? Should we change? Or has it worked? Like, you got to look at this Premier League season. Unbeaten, and we won 34 games. And what were the games we drew? Like, late against Southampton, what else? Chelsea away from home, and go a bit earlier. Aston Villa, uh, struggle to beat them. And also a West Ham. So, yeah, a lot of the bigger teams who won, like, most games against them. So, that's a great achievement. And a lot of games who win easy. So, there's something that must be right, but there's obviously something that must be adjusted against the bigger teams. But saying that... We still won against Real Madrid 3-2 at home. Well, like, we won there. It was just the way. Sometimes, I'll admit, I struggle. Not struggle, it's just I get unsure about myself in these kind of legs. I feel like I have to change something, and I did that. I did it probably most notably yeah, notably against Juventus, but I escaped from that. I escaped, but Real Madrid, I didn't really change too much. I went 
it was more or less the same thing. I just changed from, yeah, attacking to control, but after we conceded, I went back to attacking, as I felt, yeah. But they just showed they were too good on the day. You see the names there, Hulk and Ronaldo, and also James Rodriguez. He's close to Ronaldo with those attributes as well. Look at all those high attributes. So, yeah, they almost have another, and he's been improving, and he's 25 now. So, yeah, it's an interesting season. Like, maybe I shouldn't pressure. Maybe... Yeah, like I said, I've said I've had time to think. I've basically forgotten about that game now against Real Madrid. It's time to rebuild for next season, improve the team even more. But saying that, we're probably going to have a similar season next season, or maybe not. It may be hard. We may, well, other teams may get better. Chelsea may get better. Liverpool might get better. Uh, Man City finish fifth. And they're actually going to play in the Champions League, so I'll be very. It's like. Man City's not going to make... Well, they didn't. Yeah, they didn't make Champions League football for next season. Unless they win. <laughs> if they win against Real Madrid, the final. But you can't... Surely they can't beat them. Surely. We've... Like, Manchester City have... Like, the games have played against them. You can go back and watch them. If I, yeah, I'm sure I would have showed those games. Very important. But I win easily. The result and also the way we play. We dominate them. So... I hope Real Madrid win, because <laughs> Man City, I wouldn't say, yeah, I would say, oh yeah, I would say, yeah, they don't deserve it, they don't deserve probably to be there, we deserve to be in the final, we're probably being the best team in the world this season, we just couldn't beat someone with the best player in the game, in Ronaldo, who, at the end of the day, his attributes, <laughs> yeah, that's the difference, I think it was at the end of the day, but uh, like I said, I won't worry about that because, like I said, I'm over it and we're moving on to next season. I can't. I just want to play this game here so I can make some transfers and I have maybe a couple players I want to sell. So we'll see what happens there. Oh, and look at that. Chelsea sacked their manager as well, Bielsa. They've gone through yeah uh, a few different managerial uh, changes uh, throughout the course. So, yeah, that's a little note there. And we'll just leave attacking movement for the Liverpool game, FA Cup. Like, this is actually huge because I haven't won the FA Cup yet. And they've got injuries, Sturridge, Coutinho, uh, Digne, and also Lovren. So maybe Emre Chan's going to have to be playing at left back. He's actually loan listed. I'm going to do a scare report on him. I could almost, like, I could see him being a player for us. He can play a lot of positions, uh, very strong physically. Uh, he's a good player. So what was I going to do? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, FA Cup, I want to see the history. We haven't won it. We haven't. Recent winners, past winners, there you go. Yeah, I haven't won it. Yeah, we made the final. We lost against Norwich in the final last year, which was disappointing. So, yeah, we haven't won it yet. So, this is huge. It's a huge competition. to win. It's, It is much better than Capital One Cup. We've already won that, again, against Man City. Yeah, Man City. So, you got to look at the season. I feel, I don't know, like sometimes on YouTube, I feel my recent results is what people focus on. Like, if I lose, like, one important game, people suddenly say I'm crap or whatever. Like, whether it be the case, I'm Real Madrid. Obviously, I'm recording this a couple hours after I record that. So, while I'm commentating on this one, I haven't uploaded, yeah, the previous episode. But, yeah, people seem to focus, like, just on your previous result and not, yeah, focus on things as a whole. Don't forget, I've won every Premier League season so far. Uh, what else? I'm just trying to think of all my successes, you know. Um, but we... This is what makes our, makes me better as a manager or what will make me better as a manager and our club as a whole. This is where we can go run. Like, we're going to learn something from this. And this is where we can go, like, on a Champions League run of... That's what I wanted with this save. I've won Champions League before on YouTube and just in general saves for me. But I want to go dominant maybe, like... I was going to say, like, three years in a row, but maybe something like five. I'm not sure how you can check who's won the most consecutive ones, but this is a special save. How can you go to see who, who won it the most times? 11. So, 11. I'm not sure how much you can check you've won. All right, we'll have to go to our stats. So, yeah, I just want to, I want to check this. This is like almost like a club tour <laughs> uh, kind of thing. But anyway... Where are we? Competitions, and you can see here, only three Champions League? Shit, that's a big difference. That is a huge difference. Only three wins. So, yeah, I want to I get the most Champions League wins for Manchester United. So, that's a long way. But Real Madrid, they could extend their lead. <laughs> they could extend their lead uh, this season. And the holders are Real Madrid. So, they won the previous season. It's just insane, man, how good they are. They won two times already in this save. Whew, that's that's big, that's big to make it uh, two years out of three. 
Uh, so they've just, yeah, they started in the game extending their lead. So we're going to look to push on uh, for that. Uh, but it all starts next season. Uh, maybe there will be a tactical change as I think about it in my mind. I, d- I don't even know. I'm going to think about it later uh, when I'm playing it on my own because I never record that. I just do it my own. That's how I do the best transfers, I think, as I can just sit back. I've said it before. I sit back and listen to music. So, yeah, that's my style. And, yeah, hopefully um, my experience with Football Manager, I can come up with something, both with my signings and uh, my way of playing in the next season. And here, just once again, another situation where I'm declaring interest in De Gea. I've done it so many times right now. And you know I am in his favoured personal uh, personnel. You can see I'm there. So I reckon there's a big chance for me to sign him. Didn't I show you, yeah, that Brazilian goalkeeper? But he didn't have a face. And I don't really know. I think I think it's just fitting. And yeah, De Gea's got better all-round attributes instead of just a few really high 20s and whatever. Uh, but De Gea... I think he's destined... I think that's where the destined... I think we need a world-class goalkeeper as well. Maybe Liali wasn't good enough to save, uh, save some shots. That's what i got to think about as well. I love Liali, but I, if I sign a big keeper, I might end up yeah, selling him for profit as much as I like him. Or we could keep him as backup, loan out Husic next season. But look at this. Arsene Wenger has been sacked. They lost confidence in him. It's been a long time coming, I think, in real life. This is my opinion... I've got a couple of, or maybe had, <laughs> I'll say had now, uh, some Arsenal followers on Twitter. And yeah, I said I said Wenger should be sacked. And then people said I know nothing about football or some crap. Um, and yeah, those are people <laughs> like with five followers or something. Um, so yeah, who knows who they are. But what I mean is, yeah, I, my personal opinion is he has to be sacked from Arsenal for Arsenal to, pull, uh, to push forward. Uh, sure, it's good. It's almost like me here in Football Manager, but I've won leagues. <laughs> and in real life, he hasn't for quite some time now. But no, what I mean is, seriously, uh, they have to change. They need to change something. It's Sure, they've always qualified. This is what I mean. They've always qualified for Champions League, but what they haven't done is won the Premier League. They 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 can't. They haven't done that for quite some time now, as I mentioned. They, they need something different. Sure, the way of playing is nice. Attractive football. And that's what I maybe have to think here. But my expectations, what I want, is different Champions League. But, yeah, the style maybe have to change. Not just play attractive football with high possession. Uh, possession. Sure, it gets me the results I want to dominate in the Premier League. But is it enough to beat, uh, yeah, Real Madrid? Away from home. So, yeah, that, those are all things I take into account uh, when, yeah, thinking about that kind of stuff. Uh, but, yeah, interesting. Um, his time is up at Arsenal, which is not a surprise as they finish 11th. You can't say, yeah, he was good enough. He shouldn't have been. Sad. Finishing 11th is not acceptable for Arsenal. So, yeah, he does it. Like, if they fin- finish there in real life, no doubt. No doubt. Yeah, the manager, whoever it is, will be sacked. Alexis Sanchez, man, I love this guy. He is amazing. I'm going to declare my interest in a few Arsenal players, maybe, as they have no manager right now. I'm not sure if that's a thing. But I've always loved this guy. Back in the day, he was at Udinese. Um, whatever football manager games, those was like 08. I always signed it. He was amazing. And he's developed now. Just seeing him in the Premier League for Arsenal in real life watching him. And he's had a consistent over 7 average rating here. Uh, second season, must have had injury problems. Uh, don't know. He didn't play too much. But he he's amazing this year in real life. 28, very experienced now. But he's always loved watching him play when he was a youngster, and now he's developing into a world-class player. So, yeah. We'll get a scout report. We'll get another scout report on him, just like an updated one. But, yeah. Uh, there we go on that situation. What's here? Yeah, I definitely want to sign Sanchez. He's an important player. Well, he would be a great player for us. Can play multiple attacking positions. Uh, anything else? Any other? Yeah, this one. Yeah, Rooney. This is what I mean. I'm still getting comments, you know, that I sold Rooney. And it was about, I made a tweet about it the other day. Um, I don't know. I might surprisingly put it in the video if I know how to do that. I've never really put comments in a video before. But if I can, I'll try and put it and make it look okay enough for you to read it. But yeah, someone said I was like a stupid... I can't even remember. Call me, at least call me stupid for selling Rooney... And also selling, like, just the whole De Gea situation, replacing him with Valdez way back then. But now, look at Rooney. His value's under 11 million. 
and we sold them for 29 million. So who who is that benefiting right now as Arsenal finished 11th and we've had probably the best Premier League season you're going to see uh, for quite a while? Um, I think I will have the better end of it, you would think, especially if we win the FA Cup here today against Liverpool. So here it is, lads, the FA Cup final against Liverpool. <laughs> we made it last year to the final, but we lost against Norwich. So I can't be too excited here. But remember last season, we had the Champions League final after it. I'm pretty sure it was after. Yeah, it would be after. So we're a bit more fresh here and we can play our best team pretty much. And that's what we will do uh, to hopefully assert our dominance. So here, Liverpool, another good team. Where again did they finish in the league, Liverpool? Yeah, third. So it's almost at the Real Madrid level. Almost, of course. <laughs> They're so amazing. Uh, anyone else I could bring on here? Maybe... Royce instead of Yan nah, Yanazai is amazing. Looks superb morale. He's been amazing this season. We'll give him the gig. And yeah, we're going with this team. Come on. Come on. This will be a great season. And it will make me forget about the Champions League disappointment without a doubt. They got Jackson Martinez, Balotelli, Raheem Sterling playing a center attacking midfield. He's actually natural there, but I just feel he's better out wide, like with dribbling in that pace. The center midfield there is really weak, though. You got Henderson, Allen. And Dos Santos as a defensive mid. Interesting. He's an okay player, but definitely not world-class. He's 27 now. Uh, Jetro Willems at left back. Again, he's not a world-class player. He's good, though. He's good, no doubt. Savage is actually a good player in this year's game. He develops into a pr pretty... Maybe that's someone else I'm thinking of. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but I think somewhere he's good. I don't know where. Maybe it's another save or something like that. But And even Flanagan at right back. He's good. Uh, yeah, he's, he's pretty good, but again, I don't feel he's world-class. Uh, but maybe, it's very confusing. A wing-back on defend, why wouldn't you just play a full-back? I don't know, like, if you would play a wing-back, why would you play on a defender? Or it's just, it's really mixed for me. Like, I'd never, ever do that, playing a wing-back on defend. I'll just say, like, I'll think in my head, if we need to play a bit more defensive, I won't use a complete wing-back, I'll just use a full-back. But a wing-back on defend? Yeah, it's, maybe you could, if it works out, I suppose, but... We'll see if it will here today. Okay, we have to go assertively and say, I expect you to come back from there with that trophy. We have to. We have to win a cup competition. Like, we won Capital One Cup, but, yeah, something a bit more important than that. If it's not Champions League, it has to be FA Cup, which we haven't won yet. So, the big importance on this game. Come on. This is what you have to focus on. These big occasions. Luke Shaw... Has picked up early knock. That is not good. We don't have Burnout on the bench. Hmm. Now Ramiro picks up a yellow card. And Depay. Oh, come on. Memphis on the second attempt. Yanazai, finish it. Oh, my God. How didn't that go in? How didn't that go in? And I just feel with the tone of the episode, uh, of this specific episode, like, we have to win this. Come on. Let's finish. Like, it wouldn't, again, it wouldn't fit the script if we lose it. Like, I've been kind of building up all of our successes this season. And we have to win it with the FA Cup uh, finish this season, surely. A loss would just be an anti-climax, really. Oh, it's, it just feels like my team's tied, you know, getting these knocks at the end of the season. Come on, maybe a late goal before half time. Sneak it. Come on. Depay! Depay! Oh, yes, Pino, we're going to take this. Come on, we just need to finish. Don't miss. But who is it? It's Van Persie. He's had a f just a fantastic finish to the season, goal scoring wise. I think he could finish it off with the 30, yeah, 30th goal of the season. This may be... RVP puts in the back of the nets. And there we go. Doesn't say it there sometimes, but yeah. He scored a lot of goals this season, especially in the second half of the season. He's come alive. And, of course, letting Falcao go, yeah, we won't get him, finally. We won't get him back. And you relieve a lot of wages, even though we have, like, heaps. Maybe we can actually sign Ronaldo. Who knows? I'll tempt that again in the transfer window, in the offseason. We'll see. But it was good. We've got a couple injuries, but I'll just say assertively here, don't get complacent. Uh, yeah, don't get complacent. Gets a good reaction. And hopefully can hold on here again. Just gameplay-wise, it hasn't felt like we've dominated, but as always, we have the majority of possession. Uh, my players are just too good, and that's the style we play. Come on, let's finish this off. 
Raphael, put it in. Depay. Oh, man. We've got... We could have had, like, three goals. Like... The chance in the previous half, like the first half, we had a chance like that as well. Going very close, Memphis. Oh, my God. That could have been another. I just feel, yeah, we're playing amazing lately. And I feel there's some goals we deserve to get. Even there was a few in the Real Madrid game. I feel late, yeah. We're playing really well, but those close chances aren't just going in for us. Can we do it now? Oh, yeah. And as a, see, <laughs> why aren't they going in? Like, is that just being very, very unlucky? It's a bit fishy for me. Like, surely we deserve another goal with these amazing chances we're having. So we might have to make some fresh changes here. Yeah, especially with the injuries. Yanazai will come off and we'll bring on Munir. And also Luke Shaw will come. I know what I'm going to do here. I'm actually going to bring on Pressland. And then I'm going to bring Raphael at left back. He can play both sides. Carney, ish anyway. Yeah, he can, he's competent. He's competent at left back. So that'll be all right. We'll just make two subs for now. Because you don't know what's going to happen in the rest of the game. Could get injuries or they could come back and get a goal. But yeah, good reactions coming on. I'd love just a goal to finish it though. It doesn't matter with injuries. It's the end of the season. We're not going to miss them. Come on. Let's finish with another goal. See, I, like, I just like this style of play. Come on. Let's finish this off now. Oh, Munir. Like, I feel like our players, it must be the thing in the game. It must be our players are... I'll press space again when I tell you what I'm going to say. I feel my players get, I don't know, in big games, they don't step up. I don't know what that is. Do you know, is there something in the game that results to that? Please leave your feedback if I can do anything as a manager to change that because that's, yeah, really what I feel. In big games, we don't, yeah, finish the chances. And that one there with Belanta, maybe that should be the explanation. So... We'll see. So, we're about to win it anyway. We're about to win it, but it could have been a lot more convincing, you know. Okay, who's going to come on? Anyone? Zivkovic? Van Persie? We'll just bring him off and maybe the fans can clap him or something like that. As young Richario with the pace will come on. And maybe he could finish. But yeah, we're looking to hold on here. We may score here from a throw, no? Come on, on Obalo. Don't let him get through. It's Sterling. This is going to be dangerous. Oh, it's Flanagan here. It finds Gudelj, I think that is, and Liali makes the save. He wants to play well here because, of course, he may think it might be in my mind to get a bigger keeper, which I am considering. We've got the money there. We could. I just don't want to overpay for a keeper, you know. I still want to make outfield signings that will make a difference. Come on. Come on. No. Ooh. 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 What? Oh, man, I don't know what that sounded like, but it sounded like I was finishing on the top of someone, but, oh, no. I have no idea what I said. Is I'm just, fuck, man. <laughs> I don't even know. How do we concede that? Oh, no. <laughs> well, we should have had this game sewn up, man. Should have been sewn up. But it's going to be extra time. Ooh, wow. What are we going to say? Yeah, just do it for the fans. But Matt, how did we... <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. Of course, you can tell with my reactions. And once someone said my reactions are fake, but like like over top fake reactions, something, someone said like, hello, it's live. I'm playing the game live. Of course, it's real. Like it just, whatever comes out, <laughs> it may seem like it is because it's over top, but... It's just, yeah, natural, you know, to get frustrated at Football Manager. That what happens to me. And we could, no, 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 Ramiro. Ramiro. Fuck, are you serious? Are you serious? Like, oh, man. This is going to get frustrating. It's only that defensive midfield position, so it might be okay. We'll just leave it as is. We should have won this already. It shouldn't have. It shouldn't even be extra time. It shouldn't even be extra time here. We should have won it already. So yeah, maybe we're not as good as we thought, or maybe it's the end of the season. Our team's a bit tired. Oh no! Oh, so close! Holy fuck! I thought that was going in. You have no idea. You have no idea. I thought that was gonna bounce in, and with a red card now, I think I would have thought like we couldn't score. Oh, but we might score here. Oh, man. I can't. I can't. Kill me now, please. 
<laughs> Fuck, man. This is crazy. Belanta! Oh, my God. Tap out. I'm done. <laughs> no more, please. Oh, man. There's always drama. Hopefully, it should be interesting enough for you. But Raheem Sterling is through. Well done, Liali. Uh, we definitely need a team talk of sorts. That's all we can really do at this point. Uh, we can say concentrate. Oh, yeah, no doubt we have to concentrate at this stage. Come on. They're coming at us now. It's Sterling. Oh, plays in Rigi. No way. No way. Oh, Liali. He stepped up. It conceded a goal, of course, but they've had a couple of chances. It's gone so close, and he's done his best. That's all you can ask for him, and that's what I honestly feel Liali does. He does his best. Oh, Belanta, good tackle. Sterling. Oh, Di Maria. Maybe if they go for penalties, yeah. Oh, that would just add to the emotion. Remember the Bar City one for promotion? Oh, my God. Not again. Not again. <laughs> but here's Jones. Depay. Let's finish it off. Munir. Goethe. Munir, come on. Zivkovic. Oh, what a save, Mignolet. That was a great save. Have to give him credit, but man, so many games have been just hype, and everything right now is crazy. The games have been playing so close, drama, everything you can think of. Sterling plays in Balotelli, he plays in Origi, save this! Or oh, how did he miss it? Oh, we're a bit lucky as well. Uh, they're kind of running over us, uh, you could say, right now. And we can't do another team tour, can we? We can maybe do one, like, touchline. Uh, we'll just say encourage. I'm not sure if I'd want penalties. Who'd be the better pen saver? Liali or Mignolet? As amazing as uh, Liali has been for us, I would slightly go towards Mignolet. Slightly, though. They're almost a similar quality. But Liali hits his forward on. Oh, that's a poor kick. That's a poor kick. Oh, he saves himself. Well done, Nicola. <laughs> lucky there, though. We're lucky, and he takes it again. He steps up, doesn't he? He plays above his attributes, without a doubt, I believe. Oh, this is going to be pens. This is going to be pens. <laughs> oh, how didn't we finish it off in 90 minutes? Oh, lads. We're going to remove all of this, and we're going to sort by who I think is going to step up. It almost looks like we don't have 11 players here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, we do have 11. I'm just... I don't even know. Zivkovic. No, actually, Di Maria first. A bit of experience. A bit of experience. Then just the best pen takers. We'll bring in uh, Munir. Then Ziva. Romero has low finishing, but he has a red card, so he can't take a pen anyway. Yeah, I thought, yeah, he's... So I thought maybe less than 11. Anyway, Memphis going to come on. After those, yeah, the pen taking isn't that great. Goethe will come on. And the rest, it doesn't really matter who. They're all pretty poor. But uh, no, nah, I'll take... Yeah, I'll just leave it. I just hope it's sorted in the first five. Because the rest are not good anyway. Please, Liali. Maybe he could save his job at Manchester United here. Because I may be thinking about signing a huge guy. He's been good in this game. But can he be fantastic? Ballo Tally's going to step up. Probably their best pen taker. Uh, Gerard's finished, I would imagine. Okay, Balotelli steps up. And he puts it home. You'd imagine, yeah, Balotelli, a really good pen taker. And the pressure's going to be on us because we're going second. Di Maria slots it home. Come on, Angel. Good finish. If we lose it on pens, I'll be so mad. Come on, DeSantos. Miss. Miss. Oh, Liali goes close. <laughs> I, I really don't want it to be as long as the Bar City one. Come on, Munir. We signed you from Barca, and he's got talent. He's got talent. Who's going to be next? It's Origi. Ooh. Boogie, 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 boogie. No. I've not sure. I've thought if I would make a weird sound, it will make him miss. But obviously, that wasn't the case. Zivkovic puts it home. So, can I do anything in this situation as a manager to make them miss? Flanagan. Miss. Fuck. Because, oh. yeah, I'm just scared here. Uh, after the pie, there's not many good takers. Memphis got to put this home. Come on, Memphis. 
come on, but now, yeah, I'm totally not confident because we don't have amazing Pentakers. Sterling, miss! Miss! Oh, no. This, if we... Who's this? <laughs> oh, man. Goethe, you have to... He's world class. Fuck! No way! We're going to lose against Liverpool! Oh, no. No way. I imagine we would win this. We were the better team in 90 minutes. And then we got a red card as soon as injury time hits. Phil Jones was the best player. I'm going to say aggressively. You weren't good enough. Looks like I'm going to... I wanted this to be a success so bad, but... Last two games. It's the same as last season, really. The last two cup games we've lost. Last year it was the final of Champions League and FA Cup, but we lose FA Cup again, but it's on penalties, so unlucky. But you could say we did get a penalty in the first half in injury time, but then they got a late goal, so maybe it deserved to be a draw in the first 90 minutes. But yeah, we had a lot of chances, uh, but <sighs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Really, lads, you've let me down. So what do we do here? Um, yeah, Liverpool lift FA Cup. They say it again, they win FA Cup. We defeat in that FA Cup final two years in a... We don't... Oh, we're not good in cup competition in, yeah, crucial final. So, yeah, like I mentioned before, something is there. Something is there. Like, the confidence in my players or something, they can't finish or whatever on the crucial stage, on the big stage. I'm not sure what it is. Romero, ban, I'll just issue warning... Does that mean he'll miss next season? Like the first game or something? I don't know. Or first two games, banned for two matches. We fall short. I slam the team as expected. And yeah, we lose. Oh, lads. Uh, I'm really not happy about that. I'm actually, yeah, really disappointed. But I'm going to end it here, uh, which means like later tonight, I'm just recording this in about in late afternoon, around that time. Yeah, late tonight. I have a bit of a break for now. Maybe I'll just play. Oh, this makes me rethink. I don't. Maybe because uh, I know, man. Like we had a very good season, but we can't beat big teams on like the final, like really late, like semi-final their Champions League, final in the FA Cup, like really important ones. We're able to beat Man City in the Capital One Cup, but maybe it's less importance. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'd love to see some feedback. Um, I know hopefully a lot of you guys are not too frustrated. Sometimes I get a bit of like negativity in the comments when I don't do well. Uh, but yeah, uh, th those kind of comments I just delete or block if they're too insulting. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry my players failed us. Man, there's going to be changes in the next season. I can tell you that.